1050 ESPN.com. Bob Gallerstein with you at the weekly high school poll that really essentially boils down to what I feel should be the top 10 in the metropolitan area, but you can uh, have your say. Bob.x.gallerstein at ESPNradio.disney.com. And it's all brought to you by Melrose Credit Union. You can get there from here. At the top of our weekly top 10 poll, this is week number three. No question, Don Bosco prep, even though they had a bye. The Ironmen preparing for Prattville, Alabama. Now, I said at the start of the season, before Don Bosco played De La Salle, that Don Bosco's chances for a national championship will be determined largely in the first half of De La Salle. So we go to the De La Salle game a little over a week ago. And after the first two and a half minutes, it was 9 nothing Don Bosco. And inside, I said, I think Don Bosco's chances of winning this game are pretty good. And of the national championship, the number two team in our 1050 ESPN.com weekly poll, Bergen Catholic. Bergen Catholic showing some swagger that they have in recent, in recent years. In part because they have an offense that they haven't had in recent years, putting up a lot of points. They beat the Massachusetts State runner-up Westfield 47-7. Number three team, and for those of you who are very prideful, excuse me, of New Jersey, North Jersey football, especially football in Bergen County, for me to put St. Anthony's of Melville third in our poll, you're going, you don't know what you're talking about. And I respond with, have you gone out to Melville to see St. Anthony's? Our fourth team in the poll, St. Joe's. And St. Joe's is essentially readying with a bye this coming week for the game at Wayne Hills. And that's going to be the game of the year in New Jersey, is that Wayne Hill's long winning streak now at 54 games. Actually, I think it's 56 now. They won two games this year. Wayne Hill's our fifth team in the the poll, has a tough game against Wayne Valley, and this is against, uh, rather, at Wayne Valley. Wayne Hill should win that game in front of about 8,000 people. Setting up the October matchup at Wayne Hill's, you can hear that live here on 1050 ESPN. Our sixth team is an enigmatic St. Peter's Marauders team. St. Peter's seems to not be able to play up to the talent on its team. And maybe they're just off to a slow start. Seventh on the list, Monroe Woodbury, our second highest public rated school. I'm thinking that Monroe Woodbury is going to make it five straight trips to the Dome. They just finished their first three games against the three toughest teams in their schedule. Binghamton, Minnesing Valley, and they beat at Newburgh Free and they beat Newburgh Free Academy 42-21. Chaminade has moved up. Chaminade can make a run for the money uh, under uh, with uh, the coaching change this year. And Chaminade uh, right now unbeaten at uh, 2-0. Fort Hamilton, best team in the PSAL, 3-0 this year. And they have a rematch against Port Richmond this coming weekend. Port Richmond defeated Fort Hamilton for the PSAL championship this past year. And we're going to be at Holy Trinity on October 17th when Holy Trinity faces Iona Prep. Holy Trinity, the Titans with the uniforms exactly the same as the Jets. Numbers are a little bit different, but it's just a terrific looking uniform. And uh, they are 10th in our poll. They're 2-0. and And they're, they're the defending double-A champs in the CHSFL. And I think that uh, they have run a, they'll give St. Anthony's a run for the money. That's this week's top 10, 1050 ESPN Metro poll. I'm Bob Gallerstein. This is brought to you by Melrose Credit Union. You can get there.